Tamron, you have a massive opportunity right in your hands and I don't want you to drop the ball because I want to benefit from it. So I have been searching for a long time for an all-in-one do everything type of lens and you have the closest one right now the 35 to 150 f2 to 2.8 i haven't seen anything that is modern full frame e-mount has that type of range has that amount of light transmission there, there's nothing like it especially at that price point it just needs a few tweaks and i think you could dominate the market they'd be hard pressed for people to find reasons to not get it so this is where I want to pull inspiration from these older zooms on modern sensors. So I got this from a loner, a DP out of Las Vegas, and we've just been talking about what is the chain to get this, these to adapt? What is the image circle like? How much magnific magnification do you have to do? Because this lens is not meant for this camera, right? But the benefits of this lens is fantastic. I don't know if I'm in focus right now, but let me show you guys why I'm on the search for an all-in-one lens. So this is typical for a lot of ENG shooters, but if you were shooting like this and you were getting a mid shot and then something was happening in the distance, you actually have the ability to zoom in, see a little bit of chromatic aberration. It's not the sharpest image. Again, we're at 1080. But if Tamron just changed a few things I think you would have a fantastic lens that would be adopted by so many different productions. So here goes the checklist. One is I want internal zooming. I use the Sony 24 to 70 Mark II. It's great, it's small, it's light, compact, and it does the job. It's not too expensive, but it doesn't have the biggest range. So if you guys had internal zoom, that would help with shoulder mounted cameras. Uh, the, the balance wouldn't be thrown off or if it was on a gimbal same thing if it had a geared or a declicked aperture ring that would be fantastic too i didn't know how much i would like this and, and how applicable it would be on documentary shoots when the shot just keeps continuing so I, I can roll my variable nd but sometimes i like having this aperture wheel as well maybe most importantly is i just need it to be a tad wider 35 is a little tough for establishing shots. If we could get it to 28 or 24, it would be extremely useful. And if we have to take off that F2 at the beginning and just do 2.8 throughout the whole range, I think that would actually be better. So 2.8, 24 to 150, it's E-mount, it's modern, it's sharp, it has autofocus. Um, I would love if we could even do a little bit of like a, the bell style focus uh, ring especially when the focus markings are here because what happens a lot of times is when you're on the shoulder and your face is like this it's it's very hard to see these markings but if they're beveled it's a lot easier or if i'm operating on sticks i can see it here and that's really it really if i just wanted a cherry on top a servo motor and you can charge extra for that but there is no all-in-one perfect lens right now. Uh, and, and I know that is something that you know, probably will ne never happen because everybody's needs are different, different, but this is a very, very common need. And they don't make lenses with this focal range anymore. And I know this isn't everybody's style of camera. They don't want long and bulky, but for me, I'm majoritively on sticks or shoulder. Again, another mid shot. How do you think? It's acceptable. And I know that's not, the, that's not the standard for a lot of people, acceptable, but it's just in a lot of those dock situations, you, you don't have options. And this gives you more options. But here's where the sacrifices come in. This is the B4 lens. You can see the barrel distortion. It's still pretty wide, but it's not sharp. And then when we move to the 24 to 70 Mark II, everything's cleaned up you can see the profile corrections have been made it's just clean sharp that is a modern lens as i'm learning about these lenses i didn't know what this this meant here so 20 by 8.2 that is how they classify the magnification so there is 20 times of magnification and the widest focal length is 8.2 so you can see here 8. 
two. So therefore, a 24 to 70 would be a basically a three by 24. So 3x zoom versus 20x zoom. Massive, massive difference. The amount of story that you can tell with that much range just opens up so many more possibilities. So Tamron, that is my plea. You guys are not that far off. I think a bunch of other DPs, videographers, documentarians would love to have a lens and you're so close. A Mark II I think is all that you need. I love the price point. You guys are already at the 2K. Bump it up to 3000 if you need to, to cram everything inside. But uh, I think a lot of people would want it. That's my suggestion, throwing my hat into the ring. Please make it. I feel like a six-year-old news camera guy. <laughs>